I'm fly, baby. <laughs> oh, there it is. Look at that. Livingston lure. Big old peacock bass. Got it. It's a solid fish. My goal today is to put Ashlyn and Zoe on their very first peacock bass. They drove all the way down from Savannah to catch some fish. And then I take on Carlos from 305 Guys Fishing in a friendly little fishing battle. Sometimes you drive by a spot and you see it all the time, but you never actually fish it, but you think about fishing it. And that's what I'm doing today. I've never stopped here before. It looks similar to some other areas in the, like near where I live, but never actually stopped to fish here before. So I figure, you know what? I got some time, let me throw a line. Almost rhymed. That almost rhymed too. It's just a man-made lake. So I see a ledge here. I wanna let it get right over the ledge. Ooh. I know it's the same type of lake that's around the corner. So there, theoretically there should be some fish in here. And I know I've seen people fishing, just never done it myself. There's a ton of bait in here though. I can see little glass minnows everywhere. I think I have to get a better microphone, better quality mic. Cause I know the audio on this sounds like trash, but uh, making the best of it. That way I don't have to be facing the camera and holding the camera close to my face, you know? So just trying to give you guys different perspectives on the stuff that I'm doing. Yeah, I don't see anything here. I bet you some days you can come here and the bite is absolutely ridiculous. You know? Because of fishing, a lot of time fishing is just timing, being at the right place at the right time and knowing when the fish are in that particular location at that time, especially when it comes to like saltwater fishing with the tide, in tide, incoming tide, outgoing tide, the time of day, how strong the current is, the temperature of the water. So all that stuff comes into play when it comes to fishing. I know most of you guys already know that, but for those newcomers to the channel and stuff, they don't know that. Some of them are coming to try and learn something. So I'm not the greatest fisherman in the world, but I do have, uh, I do have a little bit to offer. I'm not even getting chasers. So yeah, that's it. That's it, you know? Gonna hop on to the next spot, but uh, yesterday I was fishing with the homie Carlos from 305 Guys Fishing. Um, we had a little, little competition. It wasn't supposed to be a competition. It wasn't supposed to start out as that. We were just fishing together to kill some time and hang out, you know, do that buddy love stuff well not you know not that but you know you know what i'm saying you know what i'm trying to say we were just trying to hang out be boys and, and, and fish but as usual it kind of turns into a competition because you know i catch a fish i gotta start talking my crap and he catches a fish and he has to start talking his crap so you you guys decide who outfished who in the video check it out it's coming up next so when I was working the jerk bait, you know, on the, these man-made lakes, some, sometimes they have a really wide shelf that goes out pretty far. So as you're working it, when you're over the deeper water, you're fine because it's twitching and slashing and stuff. But when you get over that ledge, sometimes it kind of just digs just into the, the muck and the, the grass and stuff. So I was having a little bit of trouble working that in certain spots. Um, so I switched to the smaller lure. A uh, little swim bait that would swim down and I could kind of bring it up over the ledge without being snagged on the bottom. And uh, you know what? I think it was a good decision because I landed a very nice pass. All right, let's try the uh, smaller lure. Get all the way across there. Go across the ledge. Come on, got him. Do 
good, baby. Good. Look at that. Gobbled it up. Nice. Nice little chunky. Let him go. <sighs> yeah, baby. Looks like I got one fish to none. Not that we're keeping score or anything, but I am beating Carlos. Like I said, I don't want to go near anyone's backyard, but I'm just going to work this little corner and see what's in there. Try this clown color again. I like to walk and ride my bike over here sometimes. It's always quiet. Carlos, your head's not in the game. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Just lost a fish right there. I'm gonna throw right next to you. Hmm. That counts though. No. Yeah. No leader touch. No nothing. That does not count. Which do I wanna throw? Hold on. Give this one a shot. It looks a little bit deeper here. Aye. Into the grass. I'm on, I'm on. Oh, got to set the drag tighter. Oh, he's fighting. He's fighting. Ugh. There's a whole school. There's a whole school of peacocks. All right. One fish right here. You got one? Nice. Another peacock. Yeah, but watch this. Do your magic, Livingston. I'm on. I'm on again. I'm on again. Oh, came off, came off. Yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna run it straight through. Oh no, I got tag tangled up. Ah. Yep. Wait, where'd you cast? Okay. They're chasing you. All right, these guys are over the ledge, so I gotta drop it a little bit deeper. Where's my other rod at? Where the hell did my other rod go? Nice. Yes! All right, I gotta let this drop a little deeper over the ledge. Nice. I think I'm winning, bro. Got it. Got another one. Beautiful peacock bass. Beautiful peacock bass. Yep. Trust me, bro. Let's go right here. Slow day turned into a decent day. Yes, it did. Oh, your hook's bent too? Yeah. That's probably why you lose so many fish. Yeah. You want to play them? I do. They're on the, in the backpack that you love so much. I do. I want to get this backpack. You should get the backpack. I don't know. Cast kill. 
Same fish twice, Carlos. Same fish twice. They all have unique individual patterns, Carlos. Carlos says he got hit three times in a row. I think he snagged the bottom three times in a row. Let me see. Carlos claimed he got hit three times in a row, so I cast my lure right where he was casting to see if I could steal his fish. Oh my. Ooh, it's a solid fish too. Ooh. Oh, solid, solid, solid. Yeah. It's a solid fish. Oh, come on. It's a nice bit. Oh, come on. Out in the middle too. I like it. Come on, buddy. No, 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 no. Not, not. Oof. Try to get out. My GoPro just died, but look at that. Livingston lure, big old peacock bass. Nice. Carlos, I think I'm beating you. I mean, even your shirt says CEO. Now I could just uh, sit and relax and wait for Carlos to try and catch up on some fish. I think I won, right? He, he swears he won, but catching the same fish twice doesn't count. Guys, comment below. Does catching the same fish twice count? And this is his explanation. It's scientifically impossible. He said it's scientifically impossible to catch the same fish twice. Carlos, you're on. I just turned the camera on to watch you land a fish. I lost him. What happened? Trying to catch it on camera. That's our mistake. You 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 hooked the fish and you stopped to freaking try to record it. I tried to record it too and you lost it. I lost it. Yeah. Damn it, Carlos. Yeah. I guess you guys don't want a crotch shot. But you can't see, I'm just sitting in the grass here trying to give Carlos a chance. Ah. I missed it, but that was nice. So let me explain what happened here. Hold on, let me turn the camera around. I, I want to explain. That was, that was nice. That was nice. <laughs> Look at that. Catch everything outdoors, CEO fishing. Sure. But, uh, so he was reeling it in. He gave up. He gave up on the reel in. Right here. You see the cloud? Boom. And then fish right here? He swallowed it. So what had happened was he reeled up. He stopped right here. And this fish just came out of nowhere. Just and completely stopped on it. Like an inch. An inch from the lure. And Carlos paused for one second. And then just twitched it. Woof, swallowed it up. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. That one's a lot lighter too. Beautiful fish. Nice fish. Does this mean I won? No. I think I won though. I Let's never I never concede fish. victory. Now, now we have a new fish. We have a new fish. Let's swim away. Swim away. It's a pretty fish. It is a pretty fish. Nice. I bro. Bro. That's the third time you caught that damn fish. No, it's not. No way. That's you the third time. It. That's the you third time it. you caught the fish. Guy, you saw the fish. <laughs> look at the look at the the, the fry That's and look fish, at the same guy. one. All the way down the same, there. The no. no. So in trying to give him credit, no, 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 no. There, there, There's there's a couple fish that are on fry that they they keep moving up and down. No. Now he's not chasing them. No. They're just kind of moving back and forth across the path, and as he's retrieving, if it goes past them and they're over the ledge, wow. he catches them. Well, first of all. All the he caught the same fish three times. We we are on a, we are on a different three times. area, and that fish literally came right all the way up and ate my lure. It was yeah. On its own. Three times. No. Three, Carlos. No. Three times. Listen. Three. I won. One. No. Two. I caught it once. Three. No, I caught it one time. What? Yeah. Three. Y'all see any shadows? He said there's two shadows over there. There's two shadows over there. Look at that. The sun came out. Those are rocks. No, they're not rocks. Those are rocks. No. That, Carlos, that those are right rocks. Was a fresh, was those, a fresh those catch. are the, those the same fish you caught. No. And those are rocks. Those are two other. It's scientifically impossible. <laughs> no, 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 no. And even if it was a different fish, I will never say that it was. No. Three fish, same time. Two fish, twice. So that's three fish he's caught. One fish, and then the other fish he caught five times. No, six fish.
five times. Six fish. Six different fish. And I got a big largemouth and I got a big peacock. Out there. In the deep. Sorry, Carlos. Yeah. My show, my victory. <laughs> I'm gonna have to call it quits. Go pick up my daughter from school. Because it is that time. Uh, she made me wait. She made me wait. I left fishing just to get her. I left, I left fishing just to sit here for 22 minutes. Why don't you want to be on camera? You're already in the last video. You want wing stop? Yeah. How bad you want wing stop? Smile at the camera. <laughs> So as you see, I was fishing with Carlos, out fishing his ass, and uh, I had to pick her up for school. 23 minutes later of me sitting here, I could have been fishing for an extra 15, 20 minutes. So that was fun. It's always nice hanging out with friends. You know, we're both dealing with stuff and uh, you know, cause the housing market and people jacking up rent prices and stuff like that. And he's like in the process of trying to find a new place to live. So he's been a little stressed out and he works a lot. He's, you know, he's, he's a chef. The guy's a damn good chef. And you know, being in the kitchen all the time and then dealing with that stuff at home, he just needed to get out and wet some lines. So that's all we did. We went, hung out for a few hours and I beat him at fishing. Sorry, Carlos, but I won. I mean, everyone can clearly see that I won this uh, this fishing battle here today. But you know what? It was fun, but on to the next day, I got to hang out with two really, really awesome individuals. And uh, they needed to come down to Miami to check peacock bass off their bucket list. They, they were talking about it for a long time. This is what they told me. And uh, you know what? They came to me to try to make it happen. It was a fun day, and we got some fly rod action. So enjoy the next segment of this episode. It is brought to you by the real hooker bait and tackle here in Miami, Florida. I'm Zoe. And I'm Rashlin. And we are here to try to find some peacock bass down in Miami. It's been on our bucket list for so long now, and we're finally going to make it come true. Finally made the trip down here, and it's just been great ride, great everybody. People are nice here. She's lying. Ryan. She's lying. <laughs> She's lying. And, uh, <laughs> We're just excited to catch some peacock bass, so let's, let's hope the bite's it. on. I'm just glad you guys survived the traffic to make it down here. Barely. Barely. <laughs> let's hope it's worth it. <laughs> It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. And you brought a fly rod, right? Yeah. So let's see if we can get you one on fly as well. Fingers crossed. That'd be killer. That would be fun. First peacock on the fly. First peacock, period. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. We're going to go fishing. We broke the ice. Woo! Does that one have like multiple lines in its mouth? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm on, so that's uh, someone else that it broke off. That's the bucket list? Oh, yeah. Checked off? Nice. So the fish she just caught had another line in its mouth. And it is a lure that I broke off on a while ago. <laughs> that's crazy. So the day was absolutely beautiful with one exception, the wind. It was 15 to 16 mile an hour winds and gusts even stronger. So the audio was kind of jacked up on a lot of my footage. So I want to apologize in advance for the wind sounds, you know, in the background, but I hope you still enjoy the footage because it was an amazing day of fishing. We got another one. If you cast really quick, you're going to catch another fish. Nice. So you both got it mark marked off the bucket list, checked off the bucket list. First peacock ever. Okay. That's why you come to Miami, not Naples. <laughs> that is fun. That's so amazing. Nice. Very nice. Cast it over there. Ooh, 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 ooh. I can hold him like a. I thought bass. you were gonna fumble. Yeah, just like a bass. <laughs> All right, not bad for your first peacock bass. Not now all. the bucket list is checked off. Woo! We just have to find some bigger ones now. Yay. We got another one? Yep. Oh my god, another one's following it. Okay, cast right by her. See, this, this is more fun than the Miami traffic. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> 
That's the peacocks busting on the surface that I was talking about. Look at that. Look at that. Another one. My huge. Now we're gonna find some bigger ones. Woo! That was an area. Wait, that's that's just a large mouth. <laughs> Take it. Another one? Oh. That's one of those weed fish. <laughs> one thing you'll learn about fishing with me is I will always talk smack. I will make fun of you and I will treat you like one of my best friends when we're fishing because that's just a part of the vibes, you know? I like to have fun, and I think if we're not joking around and stuff, it's not real fishing. This is number three? Yeah, number three. Ooh, what is that? You're pulling drag. Getting bigger. No. Yeah, you're pretty too. Nice. That's the biggest one I've caught today. There you go. <laughs> Holy so the fish are there, but we're we've cast it over here. <laughs> oh, there it is. Right when you say it didn't want it, right? Oh, you want it. Okay, so you called it out. That's another nice one. That's another nice one. So Miami peacock bass fishing is better than the Miami traffic, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Just laying it up now. Oh, good. On you, work it, work it. Oh, the one came off the edge. Yes, he's still following you. Twitch the tip of the rod too, if you're able to do that with a fly rod. So it has like a quick little jerk and then it stops. Oh. oh. <laughs> I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Uh, all right, so theory number two was good. Theory number two was great. All right. Oh, we're on, we're on, we're on. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Caught it with the regular spin rod. Now the challenge is on. I know, I went too far that time. I'm sorry. I really went quick. See, now, now you're. It, it's personal now. Yeah, for real. You need a helmet. There it is. There it is. Keep that rod tight. There it is. Oh, yeah. I'll fly, baby. Hey. Oh, you little bugger. That's all it was. The little flick of the wrist. You were so right. Holy cow. I'm shaking. That was crazy! <laughs> Alright, so let's mark that off the bucket list now. <laughs> that was insane! Thank you! And they're off. Alright, that's Thank a you. that's that a high five killer. right there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and right at the rock, slow it down. Yeah? Aha. Yes, uh -huh. oh, different Yep. Fish after fish after fish after fish. That's how we like to do it here in Miami. Another one. Woo! Oh! That's a quick release. It's just a quick release. So what do you think of Miami fishing? Oh my gosh, it's incredible. So much different than I thought it was going to be. And a strong bite too. Yeah, the peacocks do fight strong. Yeah, it's incredible. She is officially hooked. <laughs> nice.
guys. I walk away from one second and you catch a fish. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's crazy. Look at this hole. So what do you think of Miami fishing? Awesome. <laughs> a lot better than some river fishing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Hey, well, you got trout and stuff in the rivers. Well, no, where you where you're at? Catfish. Catfish. Bass, regular, large. That's what, Savannah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're just chilling. <laughs> you just like it there now? That's what we call. Oh! Go forward, go forward, go forward, and pull forward out of it. There you go. You're both on. Oh! I saw that you got hit. Yeah. Well, I want to hit again. Oh, it broke the line? All right, I got more hooks. Nice. Put some work into that one. That's a nice fish, too. That one actually looks bigger out the water. It's trying to land itself. Teamwork makes the dream work. No wonder he was mad. No wonder he was mad. You can say I caught a peacock. <laughs> that is a nice one. Oh, that one. We had an amazing day. We hopped all around. We even got to see some canals here. I felt like it was true Miami fishing today, and we've really nailed them in. At least more than a hat trick. This was epic. It's like we're from Miami, and we've been fishing here all our lives. And Brian really did a great job taking us all around. Even. That's me. <laughs> Taught us every trick in the book, too. Can't tell you, though. Well, I'm glad you guys had fun. Yeah, High fives all around. Woo. And, uh, we'll yeah. We'll have to be back. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It was so much fun putting Zoe and Ashlyn on their very first peacock bass. Congratulations to you guys. And you know what? Congratulations to me for whooping Carlos's ass in our little fishing battle. You know? But that brings us to the end of the show. And I just want to say that it is time for you to be your own CEO and go out, catch everything outdoors. And remember, always keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.